Hello and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. Hello, Timmy. How are you? I'm okay. I, you know I've been dragging all day. I've been yes. a huge, nice person. Yes. <laughs> Micah's had neck pain. I've had and, neck pain. I've uh-huh. had... That's about it. Yeah. Yep. Micah, we have a guest. Would you like to introduce our guest? <laughs> I'm so thrilled to finally have her here in studio. Oh. She's written on everything I wanted to write on. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has gotten the attention of Vogue editor in chief uh, Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour. <laughs> <laughs> With her one woman show about abortion, a topic that I love to make fun of. Please welcome Allison Leiby. Yay. Well, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for making the trek all the way to Bushwick. I took a car. Yeah. That is <laughs> it's the only way to go up and down in Brooklyn. I, yeah, it really. We went to Canal Bar the other week and it really fucking sucked it to get there. It sucks. It took over an hour. Part of it was bad planning. Most well, of it, it was my fault. I will take the blame on this. I fucked up. I looked at Google Maps, and the Google Maps said that the M train was running into the city, and uh, it, in it fact, lied. was not running into the yeah, city. It sounds about right. Yeah. So I fucked up. I fucked us up. Allison, you're here. I'm here. On a somber, this is a somber, sad episode of Great Hang. Oh, right. I have to do a shout out to my good friend, <laughs> PJ Sylvester, who died last week. Yeah, Allison, if you know Thanks anything... Thanks for coming and taking a car here for this. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Allison, if you know anything about me, you know I'm an ally to the Down Syndrome peoples. And PJ was my good friend. I'm sorry if I'm wiping my nose. PJ was my good friend, and he died. And I would like to tell a very funny story about PJ. Please, something funny. Okay. So PJ, you know... He, I mean, the, man the stories was, are good. The yeah. stories are good. Like So PJ, he was obsessed with like owning the store. Like He worked at my friend's hardware store for mm. like 30 years. And he never... So he worked at my friend's hardware store. All he did was make popcorn. That's all he ever did. That's like a good job. But here's what you could do. You could tell like what kind of mood he was in by how salty the popcorn was. The saltier it was, the worse mood he came in in, you know? And he so would always, literal. Yeah, it really works out. <laughs> That's actually where the phrase comes from. Yeah. Being salty. <laughs> and he, uh, he would always fire everybody all the time at the store because he thought he was the boss. Because in wrestling, Vince McMahon was firing everyone, mm-hmm. so he would start firing everybody. And we went to lunch at, uh, we went to lunch at Bobby Plump's. Bobby Plump, have you ever seen the movie Hoosiers? No. Do you know the movie Hoosiers? No. Okay. It's a movie <laughs> about a basketball team where Jimmy Chitwood hits the last shot. It's like one of the, one oh, of the most it, iconic it, sports movies. Now it sounds familiar. So Bobby Plump is the real life Jimmy Chitwood. And they're, okay. they're oh, well, this is also for the listeners. So Bobby Plump's a real life Jimmy Chitwood. <laughs> PJ, we're eating lunch with PJ over there. PJ finishes his lunch. The news is interviewing Bobby Plump for like the 30th anniversary of Hoosiers. And PJ goes up where the news is while he's interviewing him. And Bobby goes, uh, yeah, PJ. And he goes, just want to tell you a good burger. He goes, thanks. They're like interviewing me on TV right now. And he goes, you did a good job, bud. And he just stood there. He just, and he just stood there while they continued to interview him. That's so fun. <laughs> now go to the clip. Oh, man, I wish we had it. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> wow. Ah. It would be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, how are you? Oh, that fine. was my fun All right. story. Rest R. in R. peace, PJ. R.I.P. J. R.I.P. J. Now we can now now we can be funny. All right, Do go ahead. Do they have ahead. to bury him in a special cemetery? Micah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do they only bury him like at three feet deep? No, <laughs> that's not how that works. They, <laughs> Micah, no. Micah. Yes. <laughs> did they bury him in an annex behind stop, the real stop, cemetery? Stop. They did not bury him at the school that he and I both went to, which was the <laughs> annex next to the big school, which I heard you're not allowed to do anymore. Yeah. Have heard, an annex? Yeah. I heard you're not allowed to shove all the fucking dumb kids into one little school anymore next to the big school. Yeah, you don't need them like congregating. <laughs> well, that's what I did. It's a, <laughs> that's what I would like. Uh, they just, I was, that's what, anyways. <laughs> you making all your little <sighs> plans? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so Mike, any, this is our segment where if we had anything exciting this week happen, I guess mine was sad, but we talk about it. Did you have anything exciting happen, Allison? No. Oh, okay. Also, like, 
Do you guys remember what you do during the week? No. Right. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> like, like every time like somebody's like, how was your week? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, every day is like my friend. It's I'm living memento, but it's like really boring. And there's yeah. no mystery. The mystery is like, oh, I'm a total twat. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I kind of keep detailed notes in my calendar. And then, it, then it's like I go yeah. back and I'm like, oh, right. That's why I was blacked out. Because yeah. the night before I blobbed, he had to do this show. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know what shows and like work things I do, but like. What else have I done? Oh, I, my friend had a birthday party. It was a potluck. Hey, whoa. Got to see another cat. Hey, not that's to nice. Not to shade Toe. No, that's okay. Toe has not been, we were talking about it on the pod, or on the Patreon recently, and you can check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash great hang. I am in the hole on this show, so if you would like to, please <laughs> uh, subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, Toe has not been the star she normally is on the show. Normally, she's all out and about on yeah, the table. Yeah, get her in the mix. She's been back behind the camera directing mostly, so... Yeah, she uh, mostly just loves the expensive chair. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, we all love the expensive chair. The expensive chair <laughs> is tight. It's so nice. It is. I mean, literally... It was an honor to consult you on making sure you purchased it. Anytime. This is something you guys need to know about, Allison. If I'm yeah. going to buy anything expensive... Yes. I do not talk to Tim. No. He no. has no place in just financial matters in Thank my you. world. <laughs> I contact Alice and I say, is this worth the money? She's never, you've never said no. I will never tell someone not to buy something. Okay. okay. Oh, there you go. Toe a bunch might of go weed emptied out of my purse, so I don't know if that's something that Toe cares about. Oh, she'll she just might, start digging She over likes there. to dig. Catnip adjacent, kind of. Yeah. She'll dig. You know, there's nothing too wild in there, so she can just put her head right in that vintage <laughs> coach. See, I mean, she might, you think, you think it's not a big deal. You're going to take her home with you. I yeah. mean, look. If I leave a podcast with a cat, that's a good podcast. Yeah. Oh, my God. It would be a true bloodbath if you tried to steal that cat. I know. I would never. <laughs> I would never. I would never. You guys are a little duo. Can you imagine? Yeah. I love you too. Me and the cat <laughs> yes. are the little duo. duo. Tim's just Not you I'm, I'm a third wheel. Yeah. I, yeah. You are a third wheel in the Micah cat relationship. In the whole, the, in the entire house. Yeah. I just sit by myself all day. The two of them are in their nice, expensive chair hanging out. Then Toe comes by. She'll walk right by me. I go yeah. and put my hand out. She'll dodge it. <laughs> She'll just dodge getting a pet from me because she's such an asshole. But I love her and I like looking at her. She's very cute. I mean, she is. You have to stop thinking about her as a friend for you and more like a piece of art. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, she is a masterpiece. <laughs> she is. I mean, uh, as she like licks ooh. my coat. <laughs> I, I mean, I've probably spent hours staring at this cat. I will never get sick of it. I know. I have like 50 <laughs> photos of her in my phone. <laughs> and sometimes I just like visit them and I'm just like, oh, Toe is so beautiful. Yeah, she really is gorgeous. <laughs> this has been a good, people are going to like this. People really like when we talk about the cat. And it sounds like I'm being facetious, but we get a lot of people writing in. We love the cat. Toe is great. We yeah. love Toe. Yeah, What's Toe cat, up to? The cat is the star. I mean, mm -hmm. Look, like a gorgeous cat on a stunning chair. I mean, what? It really does it's elevate art. the whole thing. It is. It is art. I'll just look at that and not at you. No. no don't, I, mean, I mean, why would you look at me? Our eyeline is always at the it's cat. It's just yeah. the cat at all times. That's why I can't look away. Yeah. I can't stop looking at her. She's so beautiful. It's nice to have her back there because it gives you something good to look at. Uh, getting so comfy. Let me see. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I, for her. I know. She's, she has no idea. No. Um, she probably has a little idea. What, should we go into uh, We can go day? into it, Micah. Because I was like, you, I, rem I had one thing, but I already blew my wad on, can, on the other. I well, saw you don't need steal from a bodega. Yeah, you can tell Whoa. that story here again because only like less than 10% of the people who listen to the show are Patreon subscribers. Hmm. All right, Patreon people, listen up. Now we'll find out if my details match and if I've made anything up. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so I'm at the bodega yesterday, yes, Sunday. Sunday. And um, who cares? I'm waiting in line. Exactly. It's one of those <laughs> things. I hate when you're like, oh, it was 4 p.m. Oh no, no it was 5 p.m. It's like just tell the just get to the next detail. Nobody gives a shit. But I do the same thing. Right. So, um, so the guy was Bobby Plump, real life Jimmy Chitwood. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> just get to the get to the part where your friend says something dumb like he's supposed to. <laughs> Micah, what? no, do not besmirch my good friend who is dead. We, you can do it in our part where we talk shit about dead people. Oh, right, good point. Ooh. Um, yeah, you should have waited till then. Yeah, no, oh, wow. I was telling a funny story about how he was cool. Okay, okay. So I'm waiting in line at the bodega. There's like only a couple people in front of me. It's like a mom and her daughter. Sure. And this guy who's got a troubling aura. 
Oh, sure. Or- <laughs> Which is like 80% of other people in the bodega right. whenever you're in a bodega. There's, I mean, For no reason. Like, it doesn't match up with the population outside of bodegas. It's, it's, it's you know, but like, you can feel it. Yeah. You can feel the aura. I'm like, this this it's guy, always, he's a problem. I could just tell. It's wild when it's a whole family. Yeah. Mm. You ever see like a, a whole, whole family? family? Yeah. And you're like, oh, this, this whole trouble. family is trouble. <laughs> I wonder if people thought that about ours. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Showing up, like, just all, oh, with all yeah. the kids, like, clearly having just been screamed at and crying, and they're, they're all like, <laughs> happy Passover. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so he walks in, and he's, like, uh, he's holding Chips Ahoy, and, like, he starts to cut in front of, like, just this regular? Regular. Okay. Red, the red package. I don't know. Is that regular? No, that's chewy. The, the blue Ew. package. The, the chewy ones are grosser than the regular. Yeah. Wait, because I was already making fun of... I think Chips Ahoy are the nastiest yeah, fucking cookie ever. But chewy is like the only way to make it worse. Yeah. They're so disgusting. The chewy sucks. The regular Chips Ahoy, I think, are fine. I could get... I could like... If I need to have a cookie and that's the only option, it'll well, do. sure. Yeah. You will eat them. Yeah. You'll eat a lot of them, but they are bad. <laughs> yeah, they're bad. They're bad. They're, bad. they're yeah. like made in a factory where they also make car parts. Yeah, you can Yeah, you, you can taste the, the gear grease. I like that. That's what I like. <laughs> As a blue collar guy from the middle of the country. <laughs> I want about, my cookie to take masculine. <laughs> I want my cookie to taste like grease and I want God to be in our schools. Tim makes me get the orange juice with more microplastics. <laughs> I want to eat nine credit cards this year. If I can't, Not four or whatever. No, however many credit cards were the plastic I think if I, we all consume every day or something. I think the more credit cards I eat, the higher my credit score will get. Yeah, yeah. So you're just out there just like, how do I get more credit cards? I mean, <laughs> honestly, this is the episode they'll flash back to in 2040 when they're like, that is actually how you raise your credit. <laughs> we'll be like the Simpsons. Um, so... So, threatening Aura. Sure. There's a mom and her daughter in front of me. Mm-hmm. He kind of like, the person leaves. He kind of like wedges in to go in front of them. And I'm like, this is just <sighs> awkward. Like, she's got a kid. Leave them alone. Right. Right. And um, what and time the, is it? Midday. Okay. Midday, mm. bright sunshine, midday. He, uh, and so then the person by the counter, like, does not into the Aura either. And she's like, no, they're next. Right. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. Let's the people come up to the counter. Okay. Then he reaches over them. What? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I forgot. I love this story. <laughs> so reaches over them with the box with the box of cookies and uh, says, how much are these? And she's just like, yes, I'm just going to fucking tell you the price so we can move this yes. the fuck along. She says something about like six forty nine, which is way too much money for garbage. Yeah, but also that's what everything costs now. It's, I mean, it's beside the point, but also I was like, never in a million years would you get me to trade my six forty nine for that bullshit. Yeah. Buy a box of cereal. So, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> so, so he goes, okay. And um, so she, she had taken the box to look at it. And then he's like, okay. Uh, and he tries to grab back. And she's like, basically like, no, no. like I'll, she's like, I'll hold on to it. So like, you know, like when you're up in line, yes. I'll just check you out. Yeah. And if you have more weird browsing to do, yes. why don't you go do that and leave these people alone? And then when it's your turn, yes, you can have these. Right. And, uh, and so he's like, no, 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 I'll take it back. I'll take it back. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So she, she like, you can tell she's like, mm, hands it back to him anyway. Mm. Right. <laughs> then um, then she starts working on the mom and the daughter, and he just slowly, the slowest I've ever seen anyone walk oh my God. out the door. What? <laughs> just walks towards the door, and not in any rush. Like, he's got the cookies, has he's got not the paid cookies, for them. Has, has so obviously not paid, has made the most obvious yes. that he has <laughs> And he's making an exit, right. a slow exit. Like, just asked the price, has obviously not paid, and is, like, walking past. And there's other registers that were, like, helping other people, and he's walking past them, too. Like, he's at the farthest one in. And so he's just walking slowly towards the door. There's a man register guy, mm-hmm. uh, clerk. And a man register guy. Yep. So the lady registers, like, hey, no. And then the man registers gets louder, like, hey, no, and kind of, like, gets out from behind the register and kind of follows him out. But, like, this guy with the threatening aura, you know, he's very tall and, like, of course. No one, like, you don't need to get into it over one box of cookies like count your prayers move along which is what i think everyone kind of decided yeah they were just like i don't know let's just not make this worse than it already has been an entire bodega not one hero yeah not one of us we're all just sitting there watching being like everything about this is fucking weird i will be a bystander for my entire life i will never be the person who steps up to do anything you have rods in your back you have done enough (laughs) this is true (laughs) i'm not helping no you and adriana chechik now she has rods in her back. 
She she heard her back at I think this is the TwitchCon person. You don't need to yes, know this. I don't know who this is. It's you don't need to. Um, it's so and Tim's Tim's mentally ill friend doesn't get involved in her story. So <laughs> so wait. So he walks out the door. Everyone gives up on okay. this, right? And so I'm like, okay, that is the weirdest robbery I've ever seen. Yeah. He basically announced it. Announced it. <laughs> then he comes back, enters the door frame of the bodega, and goes like. You want to call the cops? Go ahead and call the cops. I'll wait. And I was like, no one was coming after you, <laughs> No one bro. cares, man. Just you... take your stupid bad cookies and leave. He was already gone. I was like, you've already done your thing. Don't literally return to the scene of the crime seconds after yeah. you committed it. In full face, so easy. I'm like, you just made every camera angle by yeah. walking back yes. in, holding the cookies. Was like, like, he was acting as though he was owed these cookies and that they were the criminals for, I don't, who knows? What, I'll never understand <sighs> for it. For charging anyway, 649, I mean, it's not wrong, but. It's, I mean, you honestly, I was thinking that too. Kind of criminal. Like, I was like, how dare you charge this? I'm just going to steal it. That's how I feel about makeup at Sephora. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how could anything in a tiny tube be $80? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. What it doesn't this? even, none of it does anything. Scorpion venom? Give I me still a want break. it, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, I've never seen anyone steal like that in my That's home. wild. I've been here for, I'm in New York almost 17 years. I've yeah. never seen a theft yep. go down like that. That is wild. That's pretty good. See, that's a good story, and I think it was worth telling on this show. I agree. Thank you. The Patreon show, we also read stories about from delivery drivers, which I guess was a good episode. I don't know. I thought it was a great episode, Timmy. And you can check that out at patreon.com slash great hang. All right. Uh, we got, uh, Libby, this is a part of the show where we do hot takes. Ooh. Micah... Micah finds a thing and we have to give hot takes on it. All right. Um, yeah, you think you come on a podcast, we're going to ask you questions about you, your thoughts, your cares. No, no, I no. have nothing to say. And Great. no thoughts or cares. Our so. podcast is literally <laughs> about us and us talking and you get to enjoy it. Great. I like doing no work. Yeah. Um, ooh, okay, which one should we do? I think, okay, I think this one actually... This is a food-based one, and so Allison, I think, should... I feel like I can guess what it's going to be. I Really? I would love for you to guess, because I don't think you will. Uh, would, okay. Jesus, Do you want me to right, guess? Micah? Did you I see all to... that fucking attitude from Micah well, all of a sudden? Jesus, elbows on, I would, on the table. I would love to see her guess what this is about. If she is correct, then we have a bona fide sixth sensor. Micah, what, what is up for... I table man more... guy checkout person sixth sensor? You mean psychic? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Thank you. We all know what she meant. I told you I was having a slow day. <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn me, Jesus Christ. This coffee did help. Um, uh, it did help. help. What did? Yes. I was gonna guess that it's gonna be the James Corden getting kicked out of Balthazar and banned. Um, no, but we could definitely get into that because, <laughs> because I because of have... the weird egg yolk omelet that I okay, can't stop thinking. I don't about. believe that's real. I think they meant egg white and they said it wrong twice. But why would they say it wrong twice? I don't know. They're stupid. Egg yolk? You, I was talking to chefs. You can't even make an egg yeah, yolk. Yeah, no, you need the whites. But I'm wondering if maybe... Ex I don't know. It, that's what I'm just like. I'm very hung up on that. And not surprised like, at all. I was like, egg yolk omelet? We've known those stories for years. Like, I'm like, you mean bechamel? Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, so this one I found on Twitter from Kate at punished underscore Kate. Uh, and this is an am I the asshole? I'm not going to read... Right. I'm not going to read Kate's thing. I'm just going to read the Am I the Asshole. Okay. Am I the Asshole for refusing to let my husband eat from my plate at the restaurant? Oh. Right? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. We, we all do an initial... Before, yeah, initial, yeah. before we gonna, get into the details. I'm going to say, here's the thing. You're, if, if you have finished... Now, even then, if your food was really good and you want to take it home and have it later... I think I'm going to say no off the jump for this. Mm -hmm. Even though I like eating off Micah's plate when she gets something good and she can't finish all of it. But I would understand if she wants to take it home later and wants to have the rest of it for herself. It's her meal. Yeah, I feel like sharing is like established early. Like either we're getting things to share or like I'm ordering my thing and I'm ordering this because I want it and I get to control what happens to it even if that's, I eat three bites and I'm bringing the rest home. Yeah. So, Which again, like you yeah. just have to outline the rules at the beginning of the meal. This is interesting because I'm also a no sharing person. I get very like, <gasps> I like sharing as like the plan is we're getting a bunch of stuff and no one's yes. like my dish, my dish, my dish. It's like, oh, let's get these four things. We all want a couple, like we both want a couple bites of each of them. See, even if that, that almost never is an appetizing plan to me. Mm, I see. 
fancy. I, unless it's... I like variety, so I'm yes. always like, how do we get to eat the most different things yeah. with spending the least amount of money? <laughs> I like both 100%. I like both ways, but if I'm going like, if I'm going to a place, like say we're going to Taco Man, right? There's one thing I like to get there, and I like to eat the one thing that I really want to have, yeah. and I don't really want to share it. Yeah. But Mike and I get the same meal every time we go there, and we also get the same entree, we both get the same thing but it yeah. doesn't matter but also if i get something really really good i'll be like mikey you have to try this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. well told yes but within okay so here's the am i the asshole and libby we have to take you to taco in some night okay I'm yes in. it's good okay all right <clears throat> my husband and i have totally different taste when it comes to food mm. that's perfectly fine however lately and whenever we go out to a restaurant that's too many fucking words in that sentence <laughs> we <laughs> We'd both order different dishes, then he suddenly asked to eat from my dish and would throw a fit if I refused. I would like to flag something. Yes. It is not her problem that he's bad at ordering. Thank you. Yes, she should order for him if it's going to be this yeah. much of an issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just tell him what he should have. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, like, okay, we'll both have the what I'm having. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's done this several times, and I snapped and told him to stop asking and order the same dish if he wanted it so bad. Great, same page. But we have established on this podcast, if you do that, you then are gay. Oh. Rules are rules. <laughs> Listen, the LGBTQIA community has supported our position on this. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, so he's done this several times and I snapped and told him to stop asking order the same. Oh wait. Okay. Last night we went out for dinner and ordered different dishes before we made the order. I asked if he was sure about the dish he picked and he said, yes. Okay. You are now dining with a five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a child. This, this is, is like, child behavior. <laughs> are you sure? Do you want to pee before you order? This is like when I was at, did you uh, read all the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> I was at, Sub you don't love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> I was at Subway and I, they were doing brag. I know. I'm, I'd say I have money. And uh, I was watching. The, this woman was doing the, my least favorite thing. She was letting her child, who was like four or five years old, pick what they wanted on there. And then she kept eating. He's like, I want tomatoes. She's like, but you don't really like tomatoes. I'm like, if he says he wants tomatoes, put them on the goddamn sandwich. Or just tell him what he wants. I can't. I don't have time for this. I have a job to not go to. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tim's, Tim's like going to the lunch rush for working people. Um, <laughs> I like to see what the other, how the other side lives. <laughs> the employed side? Yes. <laughs> the food arrives and each of us had our plate and started eating. Literally minutes later, he asked if he could eat from my dish. I looked at him like, are you serious right now? And he went on about how he couldn't resist the looks of the dish and really, really, really wanted to try it. Whoa. I refused and said Order no. your own. I refused and said no. Here's the thing. At this point, I would feel too guilty to not share some of it. I guess. Like, and all, because it's like, what's the portion size? Are we at like a fine dining establishment where it's like two bites and you're done? Yeah, is right. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or is it like a massive bowl of pasta where like you wouldn't miss a bite or two? Right. It's like, here's the thing. I'll, I like to plan my bites. And so, like, I'm like five bites heads. It's Me like too. chess. Me too. So it's like when you take a bite and you fuck up my p bite plan. Right. right. I'm oh. with you. Okay. But like maybe I'll select the bite for you. I'll put some on a little plate for you. Like, <laughs> yes. like when you feed a cat. <laughs> yes. That's what Micah does for me. If I'm like, hey, that looks really good. Can I try some? She'll be like, uh, she has to like, it's, you see, it's like Sherlock Holmes solving a mystery. And she's like, <laughs> figures it out. And she goes, you can have this. And I go, nice. It's like a stem. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, Okay. So I give him a look. Are you serious right now? And he really wants to try it. I refused and said no. I kept eating and he kept pushing till I blew up and he got quiet all of a sudden. That He then got up and walked out. Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this yeah. marriage that has nothing to do with food. Uh huh. This Chili's was never the same. <laughs> He's like, I got my baby back ribs, but I just want my baby back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My God, my God, my God. That was really good. Was it? Good. Or that was, was it the point of their whole slogan? Um, he was furious with me and picked an argument at home when I got back. What do you mean? The argument had been picked. Also, he like went home? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you guys took separate cars? That is a great point. Maybe Did they... she have to get an Uber? Did she let the Uber driver take a bite? It doesn't say. Maybe they walked to the restaurant. Maybe it's not oh, far. Yeah, Maybe it in, if, we don't know if they're in New York. We walked to right. our restaurants. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I'm just imagining this is in the suburbs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. This has real suburbs energy. This has real, there's nothing else going yeah. on for us yes. energy. <laughs> yes. We go to Outback once a week. That's the treat. Yes. This is her husband? Her, yeah. I, they, should get a, they should get a divorce. They should get divorced. Husband. Um, he picked an argument when, at home when I got back. I, I wonder if the argument was a new argument mm. or if it because the continuation of the same. I can't believe you'd let me go home alone. Dude. It was the argument. That's giving me my family flashbacks a lot. <laughs> Dude, I, walking out in the middle of a meal, very common in the Fox oh, household. Oh, sure. Very common. Then also not going home and making everyone wonder where you are. Where you are. <laughs> there was a night, and I swear I'll get to the rest of this, there was a night where um, my dad and my siblings were driving around the neighborhood calling for my mom out the car window like a lost dog. Oh. <laughs> and I was Super in a friend's, chill. I was at a friend's house because i was like i can't be around this family anymore and uh and then they were like calling me they're like mike you have to come and help us find mom and i was like i don't think i do actually (laughs) you guys let me know when when the old bag's back at home all right um (laughs) the old bag (laughs) okay uh he said that i acted petty and that all he asked for was a few bites um one bite one bite a one bite max when your wife is pissed what are we talking about what you want half the dish order your own a few bites um and for my meal and i chose to make a scene and yell and embarrass him instead he threw a tantrum he threw a tantrum yeah we're not speaking to each other right now because of what happened <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> that is very funny. I feel shitty about it, and I think I could have just let him have some of the food instead of choosing to die on such a silly hill. But oh. this has been a recurring problem, and she like clearly stated, yeah. like, no, you can't. I'm ordering this. If you want this, you order this. And he didn't. Uh. This is not her f- problem. No, they are a trouble thing, and there is an edit here that I think illuminates a lot. I do not think she is the asshole. No. I'd stand no, by my really. stand. You know me. Normally, I'll go with the men. I'll stick with what whatever my 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 kings are up to. But not this time. Not this time. <laughs> this dude is fucked up. I'm yeah. so glad you guys said because I was reading this and I was like, I bet everyone's gonna be like, just give him some food. And no. I was gonna be the only I mean, person. She should just give him a bite. Right, but well, like, if avoid he's, all of this. If so, he's like, give him a bite. super annoying, if it, like it's an ongoing problem, he's super annoying about it every single time. Yeah. yeah, this can't be the only reason she hates him. No, <laughs> no. He's not perfect in every other sphere of their marriage. Yeah. I mean, she clearly hates him. I <laughs> I hate sharing my food, but I love Tim. And when something is good, I have to share. Yes. I have to let Imagine him have a bite. Imagine how much you have to hate somebody to be like, no. Yeah. No, I can't, like, <laughs> you have to hate them. You have to. But you shouldn't give food to people you hate. No. He doesn't deserve it. And then this is the edit. And I think this tells the whole story. Mm. Oh. She says, we pay for our meals Separately. Whoa. Whoa. They're married. They're married. You're married. Like, why? How? What? How does that make sense? They have separate it, bank accounts. No, but so, like, so, so you pay one night, I pay one night. Yeah. I understand if you're splitting it up, split yeah, it up. But right. like, but like, for to to like to like be at dinner with your spouse, and when the check comes, be like. We're gonna split that. Ooh. Or yeah, I mean, and the guy sees your wedding ring. Yes, it's That's like so it's so weird. much drama every time. It's too much extra work. It's like have like a small joint account for where it's just for dinners. Yes, for dinners yeah. and movies and things that you do together. These two need to get divorced. Yeah, in a hurry. Yeah. They are their life this is, is fucked. dark. That is too toxic for me. All right. So in conclusion, no, not the asshole. No, but not yes, the asshole. actually, probably an. An asshole. She is an asshole. She's her an husband, asshole. Her husband sounds like a gaslighting piece of shit as well. He sounds like a bigger asshole. Yes. Yes. Watch, we like we cut to them and he's like literally starving because he can't afford any food. <laughs> and got- so he orders like, I'll have the water and the um, chips and salsa. Yeah. <laughs> is there free bread here? Or- no. Okay, cool. I'll yep. just, the napkin is fine then. Everyone thinks he's fat. He just has a distended belly. <laughs> like one of those children that it. What? Oh, it's fine when Micah makes fun of my Down Syndrome friend. But when I make fun of the starving children, it's not okay. All I wanted to know was, was, does he get to go to real heaven or does he go to a special one? No, he goes to real heaven. (laughs) But like the annex, the little side annex annex part of the real heaven where he gets to live with the undertaker. Um, So good. Do we have time for another hot take or should we move on to me? Uh, I mean, we got all the time in the world, really. But I, I mean, I've got... Yeah, we could do one more if you, you wanted. Want to do one more. Okay. Um, what was this one? I don't remember. I'll do this one then. 
This is exciting. Oh, okay. this is so exciting. This is a sex-based one. Ooh. Whoa, sexual encounters. Okay, so this one is my girlfriend, 22, is confusing me, male 22, um, with her kink. Huh? Tim, Tim might not be able to participate in this conversation. Okay. <laughs> I think they're both the asshole because they're 22. They're 22. Oh, um, no. I've read through this and you are, you've hit the nail on the head. This is, <laughs> this is the most 22-year-old issue I've ever heard of. Um, Tim, it's a 22. They're both 22. I was 22 once. Okay. I was 22. Last night, my girlfriend and I decided to test out a kink she discussed. <laughs> he finally knows who Taylor Swift is. Very exciting Tar- day for Tarler me. Parlor Swift. Parlor Swift. <laughs> oh, now that is my name on truth.org or whatever. <laughs> Truth is. social. Org. I don't know what it is. Um, my girlfriend and I decided to test out a kink she discussed with me a few days ago. The way she explained it to me was that she gets turned on by the idea of having sex with someone who seems completely bored. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Well, she's in luck because she's going to have sex with men for the rest of her right. life. Wow. I mean, most of the men I've had sex with do not look bored. It is, yeah. uh, it's usually my job, but um, to be bored. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I had that backwards. Yeah. Right. Um, she said she wanted me to look uninterested and unimpressed while she went above and beyond to pleasure me. I didn't really understand what was so hot about that, but hey, I didn't judge. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Cool. This is this is a rule. Tim is very uncomfortable right now. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. I think two people having sex is great. <laughs> but so, only two. Yeah, okay. and just don't kiss. This is like, so there I was. So there I was. <laughs> Dear, so twenty two. I know. Dear penthouse. So there yeah. I was. Looking as bored as possible while she was riding me like she just got released from prison. <laughs> oh my God, did he say it? Is that on yes, there? Yeah. Oh my Lord. I, I yawned, played games on my phone. God, that sounds like heaven. Used some of her sex toys <laughs> as action figures, etc. What? That's strange. It's very weird. My girlfriend slowed down at some point and told me to stop being a dick. I laughed at first because I thought she was joking. Big mistake. She uh-huh. got off me and said all the guys she's done the, done the board sex thing with, none of them were able to stay in character for that long. So now she's got her feelings hurt by her own uh, fucking king. Oh, wow. Flew too close to the oh, sun. Oh, yep. my God. It, this is a problem. This is just this is this such is, 22-year-old bullshit. Yeah. This is why I always side with the men, except for on very rare occasions. Um, look I, bored. No, you're too bored. Like, you're, no, you're too bored. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. I was confused. I thought the point was to look bored, but according to my girlfriend, the point was to look bored, but not actually be bored. How do you convey that? Daniel Day-Lewis <laughs> couldn't figure out right. how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was my like, left foot it is, he'd say. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to be funny anymore. <laughs> Tim's like, Tim's doing the Family Guy wheel of reference comedy. He's like, I, I know a Daniel Day Lewis thing. I was even more confused after that line, but I apologized for whatever I did wrong. She managed to Smart cool man. down eventually, but it took a lot from my side to convince her that I still enjoyed sleeping with her. We continued having sex afterwards without any acting. It was quick. She didn't want me to go down on her. She just wanted me to come and be done with it. Nice. Can anyone please tell me how the fuck I'm the bad guy here? (laughs) Bro, listen to me. You are not the bad guy. I've been the bad guy a lot. And you are not the bad guy in this situation. She put... She gave you expectations. An an impossible An impossible task. Yeah. You all, you shouldn't have been playing with her sex toys. You just should have laid there all yeah. just staring at the sky. Uh, but, you know, you're not, you're not the bad guy here. You also need to get divorced. I don't think they're married. I don't no. think so either, but you should get divorced anyways. I mean, here's, here's the thing. She probably wanted him to look bored until he couldn't help himself. Yes, right. and, yeah. and be like, oh, I can't do it. You're just too fucking hot. Yeah, but that's a communication thing. And she yes. needs to lay out those rules before they get into bored territory. Because right. all of a sudden he's going to be like, meow, meow, meow. But, and right. she's going to be like, I'm blowing you. But yeah. then she's like, <laughs> but that, but so. I don't that, know why they were cats and dogs. But yeah. I'm just looking to tell. If she lays it out, if she lays <laughs> it out like that, though, then she's going to be like, oh, you're only pretending to actually not be bored because I told you to do that. Yeah. So then you get into the other level. That's if she's extra crazy. Yeah, it's an unwinnable It's an situation. unwinnable kink. <laughs> she, you fell into the kink trap. Yes. And you Just, got stranded there. But here's the thing. Now you know, sir. Yes. Now yeah. you know the trick is to pretend to not know. Yeah. 
Hopefully. But that's some 22-year-old shit. That she is probably, 22 as hell. She yeah. probably doesn't even understand that part of the kink herself. Mm. Right. No. Or she would have asked for that. I'm mean, honestly a little proud of her for discussing the kink to begin with. I am too. That's like, it takes a lot of balls to like yes. be like, this is what I want. Especially it's, as a 22 year old woman. It's where also like, you have yeah. no idea anyway. Right. It's a very easy kink too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's like some fucking playground kinks. Right. Yeah. Pretend to be bored for a second. Listen, how do they not? <laughs> oh. That was pretty good. I like that one, Micah. Yeah, okay. Good find. Hot takes, hot takes. Hot we takes. got the news now. No. This is our best segment. It's just ding, the worst ding, segment, ding, Allison. Ding, 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 ding. Look at me. It's time I for apologize. the news with <laughs> Tim McLaughlin. This is the news part. Nigerian city celebrates its mini twins with annual festival. Micah, you're a twin. Yeah. So what do you, you mean it's mi- oh it's many or it's mini? I it's heard many, 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 many. Oh many. darn! I was like, wait, mini twins? That actually sounds now, interesting. That would be fun. Because then it's like they make up one person. In Igbo Ora, Nigeria, twins appear to be unusually abundant in Nigeria's southwestern city of Igbo Ora. Huh? Do you yeah. hear how he, he has to read like this because he can't read and who he has to put on a character <laughs> to read? Nearly every family <laughs> has twins with other multiple births. Fuck. Says local chief Jimmo Tiatoli. Hmm? For the Timothy, past twelve, just fucking read. Uh, you don't need to read every fucking part of this story. Just I he don't cannot skim. He can't skim to the, the story of this. Is there are a lot of twins yeah. in Nigeria? He picks these stories. He can't read the headline anything ahead of time. Yeah. So it's always the headline that's the interesting part. There's never anything more interesting. What do they do? They're just around being twins. Well, listen to this. For the past twelve years, the You're community. Just, that's the is next sentence. <laughs> It's <laughs> has organized annual festival to celebrate twins. This year's event held earlier this month included more than 1,000 pairs of twins and drew participants from as far away as France. What's France doing in the mix? Uh, they, I thought this was all about how there were a lot of twins in this one area. They might be Nigerians from France. Oh, okay. That but we sense. don't know. But we don't know. Because Tim can't read. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. There's no proven scientific explanation for the high rate of twins in Igbo, Igbo Ora, a city of at least 200,000 people. Is uh, that a lot or a little? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind <laughs> of... Like, here's the thing. I'm looking at this photo, and they don't look... None of them really look like the same. And that... Oh, these two. oh those two? Yeah, those two. Oh, it's like a Mahjong game. You have to figure out which one goes to which. Yeah. Well, but they're always wearing matching outfits. Yeah. So I think that makes it a little easier. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, these two guys look alike, huh? Well, there we go. There's some photos. This news story sucked, I yeah, guess. Tim, yeah, Tim, they always what? suck. Okay, what about... No, we don't need... Let's just move Are on you a mosquito segment. magnet? It yes. Could, it could be your smell. Are you a big mosquito bite person? Yeah. See, Me I too. told you both of these related to you, Micah. Okay. You're a mosquito bite person too, Allison? Yes, constantly. Mm-hmm. I need to like carry bug spray around all summer. New York. Yeah, sucks. A new study finds that some people really are mosquito magnets, and it probably has to do with the way they smell. This sounds like not news. No. Like, I feel like we've known this. Yeah. Hmm. They're always trying to, they're always like, maybe it's that your blood is a certain, you have a certain blood type, or maybe it's, it's like, I don't care why it's happening. I just want it to stop happening. Yeah, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get an infu- a transfusion then. Yeah, how should I change the way I smell? I don't even know how to do that. Well, here, check this out. Oh, the nice. researchers found that people who are the most attractive to mosquitoes produce a lot of certain chemicals on their skin. Ooh, you guys must produce a lot of certain yeah, chemicals. Yeah, what chemicals, Tim? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. And bad news for mosquito magnets. Ugh. The blood stuckers stay loyal to their favorites over time. Don't they die as soon as they bite you? No, that's a that, bee. That's oh. a bee stinging you. Um, okay, whatever. That okay, the news was good this week. No, it was that better was pretty than bad. It was better than average. <laughs> It was actually maybe the best thing, best segment of it he's ever done. It's, oh, okay. it's a terrible segment. We're you, pretty in and out. You can't, yeah. you can't, you gotta give, you gotta let the guest have a chance at the news. You can't immediately tell them it's bad. Let them understand. Oh, that wouldn't it's bad it take me long own. to get there, Tim? I mean, <laughs> that's fine. But Micah being Micah just kneecapping me right at the beginning of the news does not really help it. Timothy, I want them to know that to brace for pain. It's like, like, you know yes. what I mean? You don't just smack someone in the balls with a bat. You say, I'm about to smack you in the balls. You, so that way you cross your legs all, and you that, brace up. That absolutely never happens. Most of the time you get hit in the balls, someone is doing it without telling you so that they can crack you in the balls. And that's mean. It's nice to that's warn mean. them so that you can put your hands in front. 
I was putting her mental hands in front of her mental balls. Mm -hmm. and, but then, then, which makes me the victim, because now I'm kneecapped. And now I'm kneecapped, and now I'm doing the news. You're the best. And now I'm doing the news with no enthusiasm, because I know no one here wants to hear the damn news. Get rid of the segment. Can we just get rid of the segment? <laughs> no, it's the best segment Ugh, we do. I fucking hate it. It's our best segment. Now to our actual best segment. Yay! Reviews for, for the, the podcast. podcast. This is Ooh. where you can go on iTunes, Apple iTunes, and write a review. And uh, we have no new reviews Damn on it. Apple iTunes this week. <laughs> but I'm going to read from our... <laughs> to do a segment when you don't have anything. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> but I went to YouTube because we do have our Great Hang page uh, on YouTube. Our oh, great so these will be great, I'm sure. Well, I only took, I only yeah. found a really good one. YouTube. Why are women alive? All the other... These are... <laughs> just people be like this is bad yeah. you're like come on hold on let me read a couple of these whore Jewish yep. whore okay yep. good yep. Um, yep. Kanye West is starting to make sense <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a this was a comment from Honest Myths your latest episode was in my recommendations I was shocked when I saw your sub count you guys are 100% going to get big soon keep it up Woo! Sounds thanks. like like a little bit of a neg, but overall positive. I mean, so it would good. be a neg if we didn't only have like five subscribers. Sure. Yeah. If so, if you want, check out our YouTube page on uh, YouTube. Fuck. <laughs> Great Hang Podcast on YouTube. You it's, think he's uh, slow reading, but it's actually the slowness is in the brain. Yeah, we have it's 172 subscribers. Not That's too great. bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. But uh, that was that. If we get to over 250 by next week. What? Let's let's incentivize this. Yeah, you should. Ooh, uh, we should do like special a special all toe episode. Yes. Oh, I wish we could do that. If sheet. we get to two fifty, Tim will eat toes food. No. On oh camera. God, no! I will not. Cat food is so gross. Have you eaten it? No, but like it just is gross. <laughs> yeah, it smells I, terrible. I will vomit before it gets in my mouth. Yeah. See, isn't that worth it? Subscribe, people. I was saying we could try that hot chip or something. Oh, the super spicy chip. Yeah. Okay. There's something like that. Tim's I don't a huge know. baby. I mean, I bet you'll barf from that too. Tim will barf for you. Here's but dip it in the cat food like it's dead. Yes. Oh, God. No, Allison. I'm so not. No, and no. then Toe eats the barf. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wins. I don't. Here's the thing I don't want to do that for YouTube, though. I'd rather do that for Patreon where they're giving me money. That's mm. right. All 20 of you. Yeah. Or whatever. We're 26. But yes. Um, all right. <laughs> Allison, did Micah tell you? Micah, did no. you tell Allison? Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, my God, Micah. Sorry. Jesus There's Christ. There's one thing we ask of our guests, but I, you might... Listen, we'll figure it out if not. We'll, we'll make sure. You I, might, think I, I think I know what it is from seeing this list of things. Is okay. It's either a fun party story or you can give us what your tip for being a great hang. And actually, you just put up a great tip on Twitter yeah. that I loved. So. Real quick. Yeah. The best way to be a guest at a party is to yes. bring the host Diet Coke for the next day. Beautiful. I do that for my friend. Every time she throws a party, I bring two cans of Diet Coke. And I'm like, here, for tomorrow. And every time she opens the fridge, and she's like, I forgot the Diet Cokes were there. I'm so happy. Wow. That's that a, is a good idea. With that's a hangover? A, that's It's beautiful. just like, you know, you're always going to be a favor. Um, Regular Coke from McDonald's, because the McDonald's is like 100 feet away from our house, mm. is my favorite thing to get. But that's like a, not something you would bring the night before for somebody no, to I'm just, the next day. I'm saying that's my favorite thing to get at oh, yeah. when I'm really when hungover. hungover. Yeah. You, do, you, do you even hide those Diet Cokes? Because at our parties, people just go into the fridge and start drinking whatever the fuck is in there. Yeah, they will Milk. get took. Yeah, they have to, you got to kind of shove them in the back. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a great party story? I do. I like. I'm a party animal. You guys know. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Allison is one of the all time greatest tanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like, it's going to be surprising that in college it was no different. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's always weird when you meet someone who like parties hard now, and they were like, "Yeah, I didn't start drinking until I was 28," and I'm like, I'm like "What the it, fuck? Not me." Yeah. <laughs> what was your life before yeah, that? What were you doing? I mean, I didn't really drink heavily till I moved to New York. Yeah, New York does kind of up the ante. But in, col in college, I was a very, like, weekend partier. Yeah. Not like, the, not like, I'm getting hammered on a Tuesday, but, like, when we were partying, my friends and I were, like, we're doing... And by partying, it was, like, me and my friends would go to a party and then just stand in a circle and get hammered while we tell each other how much we like each other and not talk to anybody else a in the party. A lot has changed. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I haven't done that since. <laughs> I never just stand in the corner with somebody being, like, no, we are great. We're great. I love you so much. No, I love you. It's so important that we're friends. Um, 
<laughs> you have just partied with Allison after hearing that. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like to hang out with me. Um, but we went to a party at this guy's place once, and this has to do with the fridge. And um, it was this guy who, like, he was just kind of a douchebag in college. And uh, he ha- we were hammered. My friend had drove- driven us there. And I just wanted to, like, it wasn't even really a party. It was just, like, we were drunk and, like, went over to this guy, like, the guy's house to go, like, a bunch of the rowing guys. And I was a rower, so it was all, like, teammate stuff. And um, he had both marshmallows and marshmallow fluff. And I was so hammered. And I just, like, walked in and I was like, you can't have both. It's, re- <laughs> it's redundant. And then I stole the remote control to his TV without saying anything and threw it out the window in the car on the way home. <laughs> 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 Which is, like, a die. I didn't, like, hate this guy, but I definitely did. Like, I was just, like, we were, like, we were freshmen who, like, fucking with older guys. Like, yeah. just being, like, we don't care what you think of us, so, like, we're just going to be absolute monsters. Wow. Stealing somebody's remote, especially, like, That's way so back. wild. Like, now you could program your phone to be yeah. a remote for yeah. your TV if you use Apple. Like, there's, like, you a lot of ways that around man, it. You made that man get an extra, like, six to seven hundred steps in in his day yes having because you know he was couch. turning his apartment upside down <laughs> looking for this thing oh, I was and you feel crazy because you're like oh what well no one would take it that's psychotic yeah. that's so fu- i was oh, you- talking about him getting up changing the channel going oh, yeah. and sitting back down getting up again i was like i just like channel. slid it in my bag and then i also i also threw the marshmallow fluff in the snow that's oh, great because i was gonna be like you throw marshmallows in a car that won't damage anything yeah but no, you just, that's so funny. When I just you, like dropped it out. Wow. <laughs> that's funny you did it without him knowing. Yeah. Because I was like, at that age, I was also doing shit like, oh, I took your hat and I threw it out the window and it, that was like flirting and now they hate you. you yeah, know? no, 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 no. I was just like being like low key a monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and like, I, and like my friends and I were like, that's so funny. And it's like, we were just like casually ruining people's days. <laughs> that was like my, it. the boy version of that is my friend Austin stole a bunch of pool balls and broke car windows with them Jesus as we Christ. left. Like, Jesus. and I go, stop I just dropped this it. onto an yeah. empty street from a window, yeah. and like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, except that that guy's day was ruined. <laughs> oh man, that is great. That is that really fucks. That, if you I'm, really want to ruin someone's <laughs> life, you steal their remote. That's so. I funny. feel so bad for that man. Now. You shouldn't. He was a real weirdo. Oh, okay, good. Fuck him then. Yeah. Fuck him. I hope he never gets to watch what he wants. <laughs> what a curse I mean dear god I hope you never that's find evil I, I hope you never find the thing you want to watch when you want to watch it and your wow. food gets cold while you look yeah you piece that of shit that is a real that curse. is truly cruel <laughs> <laughs> we're monsters yeah, that's, that is wow. monster I love that story yeah thought you might um, good. So this was the other segment Michael was supposed to tell you about. I, You're supposed to find a dead person to talk shit about. It could be any dead person in your life. Doesn't need to be a, ill of the dead. Doesn't right. need to be a celebrity. People love this segment. We have had okay. upwards of three people say that they like it, which will keep us doing it That's until huge. we stop doing the podcast. Especially because we got rid of it. And uh, everyone's like, where did it go? And we're like, oh, cool. People are listening. Oh, they notice. <laughs> yes. So I'll... I also did not come up with someone. So oh, Okay, well, then cool. I'll start because I okay. do have right. someone. Okay, good. Osama bin Laden. Oh. Check this out, How are you going to say something bad about that guy? <laughs> yeah. Listen, bitch. He Too came... hard to find? Yeah. <laughs> Too hard to find. Loved, loved pornography. Mm-mm-mm. Not in our house. Not in the Lord's house. But... You're a piece of shit for what you did to those Twin Towers. And guess what? If the government did it, you're an even bigger piece of shit for lying and taking credit for something you didn't do. Be a man. Be like, I didn't actually do that. Your government did it. But you're dead now. And John Cena got a big round round of applause for saying that you were dead in the middle of a match. Have you guys seen that video? Mm, No. It is truly incredible. He stops wrestling, gets a microphone, and he goes... With precision and accuracy, SEAL Team 6 has killed Osama bin Laden. How did he know? I don't know. I think they, I think the ref, like someone is always talking In to the ref. Ear. And I think they're like, they t- tell John Cena, Osama bin Laden's dead. And then he it's goes an odd up, thing to do. <laughs> Wait, and he got in trouble for breaking that news? No. The crowd went insane. Everybody yeah. loved it. Because yeah. John Cena was like the army guy. Yeah. And all about America. And everybody lost their minds. It's a very funny clip. So that sounds like awesome then. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't saying it was bad. Well, you're trying to talk shit about Osama and he brought forth one of the greatest moments in television history. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great job. Besides man. that, fuck Commit you. to the bit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got one. Okay. Unless you're okay. ready. No, I'm not. 
Okay. I have um, no one in my head. I can't think of a single dead person. All right. Uh, <laughs> I would like to speak did. ill of Robert Frost. Um, fuck you. Your oh, poems shit. suck. Most oh, people no. don't understand them anyways. We have to read them every fucking year. Not even the teachers who taught them understood the point of the whatever two roads thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's supposed to mean like you're supposed to go down the trodden path. Nobody under fucking stands that. And even mm. either way, fuck you, man. That shit sucked. Yeah. Hey, why don't yeah. you heat up a little bit, Robert Frost? Because you mid. You mid. And you I mid. bet you weren't that hot. Let's look him up. Yeah, let's look him up for real. I mean, if Every he was... Every once in a while, those guys from the past are like total babes. But for the most part, oh, they yeah. all look like if fat he skeletons. Was, <laughs> if he was busting for real, for real, no cap, I will be just absolutely very surprised. I bet he is mid. To, if I would say he would probably is busted. Mm. Yeah, well, what? I tried to do it. Now it's coming up with something else. Keep... All right, All right. I, I can go. Okay, you got someone now? I don't, it's not a specific, I don't know the person's name. That's but fine. Whoever invented printers, mm. fuck you. Whoa, fuck you. Yes. Fuck you for the way you made printers. Preach. Because everybody, you made a good enough printer system that we were just like, I guess we'll stop here and we're not going to make these any better. And I have to set up my printer now and it's hard and it sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to print something tomorrow and I'm panicked because I haven't, I have to get a driver I don't think that's, I don't, I don't mean Gutenberg. Oh. Um. <laughs> that's the printing press. She's talking about like a home, home like printer. a home computer printer. Um, speaking of, I found a young Robert Frost and I would. I would. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. He was not mid. He actually is busting for real, for real, no cap. Uh, <laughs> Chester Carlson invented the revolutionary dry printing process called electrophotography. So Chester Carlton, suck the devil's dick, you yeah. fat fuck. <laughs> We're glad I hate you're printers. Dead. Yeah. And take the toner with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. that's it. That's the show. Now yeah. we just do sign offs. Oh. Micah, would you like to start? All we right. have all our segments. These are all I know. I've been reading them the whole time. <laughs> so you got to peek behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah. Signing off. It is I, the girl who will not do anything while watching a crime in progress. <laughs> it is Toe's mom, Timmy's girlfriend. Oh. Allison's friend, and a girl who probably, if opting with to fuck young Robert Frost or to not, I would choose the road more fucked by, <laughs> and would fuck Robert Frost it is me, Micah Fox. And signing off, it is I, the man who is proud that he's not dating a Karen, <laughs> you know, because you didn't say anything, I got there. Micah. A to C. I didn't get it. Because you didn't say anything about the guy stealing anything. Oh, cool. Got it. Yep. God damn it. I guess I do date a dumbass. I am your Patreon dad, your free feed best friend, uh, Timothy Grady McLaughlin II. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. <laughs> all right, Libby, you got to say signing off, and then say okay. whatever you want. Uh, signing off, printer hater, non-food sharer. 22, no longer 22 year old, uh, remote stealing Allison Libby. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Goodbye, everyone.